I found out in 1990, I tested, and I, I got my positive results as HIV positive. I had just arrived in New York, and um, I did see the posters the actor put in. You know, I just wanted to know because it was directly speaking to me, and it took me maybe a couple of weeks to get a doctor to actually give me a test because they would they would say it does not you wouldn't be part of this um, this population it doesn't affect women um, so this is a general practitioner and when he got the results he said we should retest because I think this is a mistake but at this point he also told me to take my own blood work to the um, the Institute of Health because he didn't know what the next step was. Finding out that I was HIV positive, I'm Chinese. I struggle through many, many years, including currently, about how that, what that means um, for my parents. You, you don't see Asian people participate actively in a lot of platforms. There, there's clear reasons it's a cultural, um, I don't want to say, um, struggle, especially for, for children that grow up outside of the original culture. I fast forward to basically getting fired for being positive because all of a sudden it was like, we don't want you to use the bathroom. There's this issue, like people always, oh my God, you know, it's a woman and they, they go to the bathroom, there's menstruation issues, can't use scissors, can't do anything. Basically I couldn't do my, my work. And having the whole company being told that if they ever came back positive that, you know, who they could sue is me. So completely internalizing that I could kill people, basically. <laughs> so I'm a member of ACT UP for 27 years. As a um, straight woman in ACT UP, how I felt as I have always been an outsider. Women really didn't have a place in it, and we all worked parallel to it. When we start the meetings, they always say, are there any cops or any journalist. And for a long time, nobody believed I was at, that I was not any of those or that I was not a nurse or if my husband was gay and all that. But ACT UP started and the meeting started by, besides calling whether the cops were there, a list of people that were in the hospital. And the other list was the people that didn't make it this week. That kind of focus made me not feel resentful, made me feel like, I, I can't keep up with the boys and that's okay. You know, somebody, I can do other work that's parallel and I think a lot of women felt the same way. Tech came out of ACT UP. That is the game changer of where we are today. Basically, there, there were a group of people that were either fully committed, like the lesbian community, or their lovers that remain, went back to school and learned science. It wasn't just direct action anymore. It was really learning how every agency worked. It, it learned about every molecular uh, understanding of it, really to hone um, negotiation in terms of treatment and budgeting. One thing this, this movement has done is to question every line that's been put in front of us. Whether you are told that only it affects gay men, whether somebody tells you that this can't be solved, whether governments have a say so how you're gonna survive, to what, what it means to look at data and challenge that data. For example, I had my kids on my own terms because I knew what medication to take. Not that you challenge and will win, that's not the point, but if you don't, then you, are, you, you can never ever progress as a community or as a person, or give yourself a chance to know what it really means when people say you only have five months or five weeks.